She is fine, surely. Oscar will be back any moment. Beware, salty spirit! Sachi will not go easy! Oh! <laughs> You're no ghost. <laughs> Jal! You are a ray of moonlight piercing this fog. Surely you remember the handsome rascal Zaji? He remembers you and your daring do. He could use some of that right now. What say you? Join Zaji for some treasure hunting? For old time's sake? Zaji came for bounty most enticing for a ship captain. Designs drafted by the most brilliant shipbuilders of an era for the greatest fleet in the history of Camriel. The All Flags Navy! Perish the Thought Walker! Zaji simply seeks designs to make the perfect pounce even more... perfect! He searched High Rock up and down for this storage shipyard. This is where his treasure lies, he knows it! And spoils for us both! Zaji suggests a second look at the shipwright's village there. It did not get so good a look when he and his first mate skulked through before, for fear of stirring up the dead, but since they're already well stirred now, we may as well be thorough. Plans of a sort, diagrams, techniques for outfitting a ship that have been lost to time, but not forever. Zaji hopes such important things would be preserved against the weather when one's trade involves the sea. Zaji heard tales that this sodden shipyard outfitted a hodgepodge of provincial fleets into the swiftest, strongest armada to ever sail the seas. The shipwrights could turn an incredible ship into an invincible one. And Zaji has an incredible ship. Truthfully, Walker, Zaji came here with his trusty first mate, Kaska. But a monster ambushed us at the old mill and we were separated in this soupy fog. Zaji was waiting for Kaska to find him when you arrived. Now we need wait no longer. Of course, Walker. She is as much a fixture of the perfect pawns as Zaji himself. He is certain Kaska must be searching for him somewhere. If we are thorough, we will surely cross paths. Oh, there are many legends about shipwrights regret, Walker. Zaji's favorite is that they built a ship so large, it sunk the yard when they dropped it into the sea. Though what he is most interested in are the tales of the First Era. The greatest fleet in the history of Tamriel sailed to war with the Sloan. Ships from every province and navy banded together as one armada. Zaji heard rumors that all those mighty vessels were outfitted by the greatest shipyard in High Rock. Zaji believes so, yes. At least he has ruled out nearly every other shipyard it could be. Of course, it would be the most dangerous, but nothing ventured, nothing gained. Zaji will keep lookout from the high ground. He must admit. Alas, no sign of what he seeks yet. Let us continue this way. The 
is not the end of our tale. Hey, what are you? How are you doing down there? Ugh. The soggy smacks of your right weapons here. on these Stay drowners focused. make Zachi's skin crawl. Oh, you look busy. Zachi will meet you ahead. You labor day and night, day and night, while I waste away. Can't you stay? Can't you stay one night? I'm so alone here. You should have left me to the plague. At least I'd waste away surrounded by family. You finally came. You wouldn't even notice if I was gone! I filled this place with tears until I drowned. Don't leave me! It's your turn to suffer. I didn't deserve this! so hard now, was it? You've come for a job. I don't tolerate tardiness. Whoa! 
Oh, oh! Ah, oh, crap! Uh, Zachi believes you have this under control. He will sort of over there. Out of our... Out, out of the way. Just to be fun of. is finally going away. I'll be right down. The logging camp beyond this gate is now little more than treacherous woods. Be wary. Sachi doesn't wish to lose you like his first mate. Things seem much calmer now. <laughs> Koska! Sachi <laughs> uh, has found you! Might have been sooner if you hadn't run so far. At least you brought someone useful with you. Good to see you again, Five Claw. See? Nothing to fear where Koska is concerned. Just as Aji said. Though he will stick close to his first mate from here on. Aha. I could smell Zaji's craven musk the moment he set foot in the woods. I would have found him sooner if he'd cowered somewhere closer. Thought he might have swam all the way back to the pounds. Bark-skinned beasts and spriggans. They ambushed us near the old mill, and now the woods are thick with them. Tough, but they die like anything else if you claw enough. You ready to snap these twigs and get on with this treasure hunt? 
I missed your courage and your competence. Let's go cut some timber. down the ravine. I will clear out the upper ledges. Zaji, stay out of the way. Don't worry, it'll be like Zaji was never there. Sharp, sharp go the trees. Sail the salty seas. Chop the lumberjack goes, hacking off the boss man's toes.
Keep up, Zaji, or I'll take you by the scrub. You're still standing. Be proud of that. Zaji can feel that cramp coming again. We will follow you from uh, this gentle trail. Looks dead now. Going back. 
overgrown kindling. Zaji, you all right? Zaji is fine. Very itchy, but fine. Also, he found a map. It is brighter past the woods. He will meet you beyond the gate. Wait! Zaji! Oh, come on. Let him get after him. Glad to have your help. I might have taken the bark wench alone, but not with the whole woods trying to kill me and Zaji. Let's hope this map he found leads to treasure. Zaji has a few talents. Sniffing out treasure is one of them. For all the fool's errands he's led me on, there's been a payout worth the risk. Nothing worse than guard duty. Sea elves? I... They must be here for Zaji's treasure! We must hurry! Of all the luck. Well, where to? Zaji's map tells him the Master Shipbuilder's office should be just over the bridge. How did these scaly elves learn of Zaji's treasure? Surely he wasn't followed. No matter. So long as we snatch up the designs and be on our way, such details are moot. Of course, Walker! What else could they have come to these soggy, sopping ruins for? Nothing but rotten wrecks and crumbling masonry as far as the eye can see. Which, Zaji admits, isn't far under the circumstances. That is what the old mill's map shows, provided it hasn't been washed away by centuries of storm and tide. No, no, no! Now's not the time for doubt. It's us cross and claim what's mine. Ours. Ours. We've tangled with sea elves a few times. Nasty bastards. Show no mercy. They certainly won't. About the ship that crashed into the harbor? Not a soul aboard. Aye, and hundreds smoldering strikes on the deck from lightning. Must have been Dagon's own storm.
I said get to the crow's nest and spot us a break in this Captain, storm. The lightning. I gave you an order, sailor. I said get up there or I'll toss you overboard. Sachi is not often considered overweight, but that roof thought otherwise. This was ransacked recently. This! Sachi's plans were here! The sea elves must have taken them. All these papers? Yes, look! This was the Master Shipbuilder's office. The plans Zaji sought were surely here. The sea elves must have come for them as well. They are still here, so there is still a chance. We mustn't let them escape with the prize. Whether it's dragons or plunder, Zoji really likes your okay, fine, I'll do it attitude, Walker. You're a good one. I smell old parchment and paper here. More than just the moldy stuff we've seen so far. 
Some of those plans might have really been safely stored here, until the Sea Elves took them. like a dreg's ass. Stones to Dreadsail Reef. I'll make sure these wretches can't follow. I'd like to see you fight. It will take more than that playful splash to get Sachi from the Riding with you is never dull. Lay on! Sibling seas pass. Nothing but slaughter fish among sharks.
to the southern rock end of this harbor. The sea obeys my command. What force have you brought to match it? Like a shark chasing hawkers. is long gone. Zaji, his pockets. Yes, these scroll cases bear the shipyard's crest. Casca, Zaji could kiss you, but he values his unmangled face. But wait, if this is not what they were after, then what was it the sea elf was boasting about? How could any lodestones be more a prize than this? <coughs> I'll be hacking that foul water from my lungs for weeks to come. <coughs> you heard what the sea elf captain said, yes? He let the plans be taken, but boasted of the lodestones we would not claim. There may have been something here more powerful to plunder than Zoji anticipated. Yes, Walker, yes! Don't let Zaji's fretting sour the mood. With the plans he has, this one will be able to outfit the perfect pounce like a great ship of legend. And for that, he offers his greatest gratitude. And gold, very much gold. 
Ooh, Zaji can hardly wait to see the pound newly decked and polished. He will take you out for the maiden voyage, if you desire. Perhaps she will be up to chasing these sea elves and swatting their noses for the insult. And those lodestones. Things so clever that Zaji thinks this master shipbuilder must have been a Khajiit. For instance, this one, a hull cladding to make the vessel sturdier than a boulder, but still swift as a gale. Though Zaji sees his journey is not finished here. Zaji will need to find shipwrights of some skill to put these plans to use, and the materials from which to build them. The old flag's navy took many a fortune to create. This will be a costly affair, but Zaji's perfect pounce is worth every drake. Just so, Walker. Though they are only made reference to. Zaji did not see designs regarding them directly. He imagines the sea elves kept them together. They do seem to be tied to navigation, though he doubts a simple compass is involved. Zaji can sniff out a scheme when he smells one. These dread sails and their lodestones are up to something. And something is always sinister when it comes to sea elves. It would be better for such things to stay in Zaji's care, wouldn't you agree? Sea Elf nearly drowned me with those magic currents. I see Zaji escaped none the worse for wear. Suppose he is the better swimmer. Not that I'd ever tell him so. Unless I catch some foulness from these fetid waters, only my pride has suffered. I would have liked to have batted that Sea Elf around like a frightened Jerboa, but I'll settle for seeing him beaten and face down in a puddle. Time will be the judge of that, but I trust Zaji to find use for these designs, or profit, if nothing else. I'll do my best to keep him going overboard, outfitting the pounds, lest we find ourselves overladen with dubious doodads. That one mentioned something of lodestones, but they must refer to something more than simple compasses. Perhaps there is something among the designs Zaji found to make sense of it.